I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God put this right here on my heart, and I feel like it's for you. God wants you to know that you already have the victory. Because see, victory is not something you achieve like a goal. No, victory is something you receive as a gift because of he in whom you believe to be your savior. Jesus Christ already died on the cross for all of your sins. That's past, present, and future. Jesus already defeated the enemy. He already laid his life down and then he rose up. So what does that really mean? No matter what you're going through, you can get up from it too. That's the resurrection power that lives on the inside of you. Because the scripture tells us the same power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead lives on the inside of you. You got me? So you have the victory already. You just have to walk in your authority. Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Jesus says, Behold, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy. See, you have authority over the enemy. But what's authority if you don't use it? If I give you the keys to a brand new Lamborghini and I tell you that it's yours, what, what good is the Lambo doing sitting in your garage, dog? <laughs> a Lambo in your garage, man. What's up? Roll the garage door up and take it for a drive and put your windows down. Like, like enjoy the Lambo. And what I want you to understand, you got to enjoy your authority. Don't keep the Lambo in the garage. Ride around the block with your authority. Walk around with your Bible, with your authority, and speak the word of God over any situation that you're going through. Walk around your house. I plead the blood of Jesus over the kitchen. <laughs> That's right. Plead the blood of Jesus over every... Listen, the devil, I'm telling you what I know. The devil takes off running when you come in the name of Jesus. He takes off running. You got authority. You got authority. So why not spend time with the one who gave you the authority? It's crazy. We spend, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 before we go to sleep, we put our phone on the charger because when we wake up, we want, we want it on 100. But we never put ourselves on the charger. You got to put yourself on the charger. Look at me. I'm getting, look, boy, I'm getting charged up. What's on the other end of this? What's on the what's plugged into? Plug into my word, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta hey, you gotta get in the word. You got me? See, cause see, the more words you know, the more dangerous you become to the enemy. The Bible says we are not ignorant of his devices. So the more word I know, the more I can spot out the lies of the enemy from a mile away. Think about it. If you went to work at a bank, right? Let's say you work at a bank and you're gonna be in a part of the bank that count money, right? They're going to send you off to training. They're not just going to hire you and say, okay, go ahead, go to the window and, and, and you know, start doing the job. No, they're going to send you to a training. And when you go to a training, they're going to teach you how to spot a counterfeit $100 bill. They're going to show you you need a little highlighter. They're going to tell you how to hold it up to light. They're going to walk you through all of that. Watch this. But during the training, they don't waste time studying the counterfeits. No. They spend all their time immersing themselves studying the original because, see, the more time you spend studying the original, you can spot a counterfeit a mile away. You can look at that bill and say, I ain't got it. it, it need to have a line uh, about one point eight inches that way. And, and, and it, it, you got me. So study the real deal, man. Study the real deal. That's the victory that you have. Now you have to walk in your freedom. You have to walk in your purpose with your head held high, knowing that you don't fight this fight for the position of victory. No, you fight it from the position of victory because the battle has already been won. And I'll leave you with this right here. I want to read you this scripture right here. Psalm chapter 23, uh, verse 3. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You see what I'm talking about? Listen, God is basically saying that I'm doing I, I'm leading you for my name's sake. And what does he mean by that? He mean Demarcus, De Demarcus, my reputation is on the line. I'm going to watch over my word to perform it. It's me that's going to work this out because my name on the line. This for my name's sake. 
And listen to me. I want to be real with you. When, when it comes to you, you're a child of God. God has you in the palm of his hand. And it is him that's working it out and fighting your battles. It is him that loves you, that desires for a relationship with you. It's him that's working them situations out. You ever been through a crazy situation? You're like, I don't know how I made it through that. I could tell you, I could tell you how it was God. If you're breathing right now, if you're alive right now, <laughs> that means you got a 100% success rate against the enemy because you ain't give up. You made it here today, right? It was God that got you through it. You got me for his name's sake. But it's a sad situation. We don't have a reverence for God. Sometimes we don't spend time with him and, 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 and we don't say, Lord, thank you for all that you got me through. We don't have a reverence for all he's brought us through. He just said for his name's sake. But we won't give him his props. We don't give him his adoration. We don't give him his love, his respect, his reverence. Lord, thank you for all that you got me through. Many people, they don't like to do that. They like to say, I got it. You know, I'm tough. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm resilient out here. I got through it. You know, I got it. Wasn't you. You're not the one giving yourself breath every second of the day. You don't know nothing about no lungs. You don't know nothing about no kneecap. Did you make your own kneecap? See what I'm saying? Yo, you, you ain't make your elbow. Man, my elbow ashy, man. See what I'm saying? You ain't make an eardrum. Only thing you know about a, a, a eardrum is a is a drum that you beat on with a stick. You don't you don't know nothing about the anatomy of an eardrum. Look, God did all that, man. He had millions of things he done did, man. We just got to take a second to say, Lord, thank you for all that you are doing. All that you will do and all that you have done. And you already have the victory. Don't just bask in his presence and thank him for the victory. Stop worrying about how, how you're going to achieve this goal or how you're going to do this or how you're going to climb that ladder or how you're going to do this. And just sit still. Be content. Know that you're good right now. You, 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 you're you good. You all right. You might not be where you want to be, but thank God you ain't where you used to be. Be content right now. The victory is being in his presence. Anybody can have that. Just take a second to take your eyes off of your situation. Take a second to stop thinking about the future. Stop worrying about the past and be at where your feet at. Be in the presence and enjoy his victory. And don't forget to read in his word, man. You got me? You got to, man. You have to get it, man. Look, this word is so powerful. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> this word here is so powerful. You got me? Man, look. See, a lot of people, when they get out their vehicle and they go in the store, they close their Bible up. Boy, I be leaving mine open, man. I leave mine open right here. You know what I'm saying? Leave mine open. What, 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 what am I closing for? You know how much power coming from now? I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I have the victory. Because that's right. You got the victory. Don't spend your whole life fighting for something that's already been freely given to you. You got the rest in the fact that you are enough. You're more than a conqueror. You good like you is. The world will tell you you need to lose weight. You need to get five more degrees. You need to do this. Your hair need to be this way. Your beard need to be this way. Your shoes need, you need the newest shoes. You need to calm down, calm down. The world will have you like a hamster on a wheel. Calm down and just be present. And you know, you enough right now. You amazing just like you is. You got the victory already. Don't let this world cause you to speed up. Be content. Don't let the world control you. No, no, no. You control the world by framing it with the words of God that you speak. Because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So feed your heart faith when you don't need it so that your heart can feed your mouth faith to speak when you do need it. So load up and be able to remember in Matthew, Jesus said you should speak to that mountain. You got to be able to speak to your situation. You got to be able to speak to yourself as well. Tell yourself it is well with my soul. Calm and quiet your soul and say, soul, we going to rest. Soul, we ain't going to be anxious. Soul, we ain't going to overthink. Uh, soul, we ain't going to worry about that. No, 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 no. We going to rest in our victory. That's right. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.